Welcome to this week's robotics lesson for our elementary LEGO robotics program. I'm Mr. Spratt, and we're here at Sprattronics Learning Lab for our lesson. This week, we're going to be jumping into some crazy carnival games. We're going to move past using just icon blocks for coding our robot, and instead start using word blocks. Word blocks are going to give us a ton more control over our robot. It's going to let us set specific actions for each port or each motor. It's going to let us decide and program a whole lot more into our bot. This week, we will also be talking about energy, motion, programs, testing, and upgrading. Before we start our lesson, I want us to think about a moving ball. Imagine this ball is rolling down a hill. It's in motion. Now, a ball that's just sitting on this table doesn't have any motion. Which ball has more energy? A ball that is not moving or a ball that's rolling down a hill? Absolutely. The answer is obvious. The ball that's rolling has more energy. It's in motion. It's moving. Now, for this ball right here, how could you change the energy of this ball? What we'll be doing this week is we'll be using one of our motors to give a ball energy. And what we'll be doing is creating a mini golf game. So we'll take the energy from a golf club, swing it, and put the ball into motion. Let's get started and introduce our challenge. What I want you to do is go onto your browser and go to spike.legoeducation.com and our Lego Spike app is going to load. Once you're on that Lego Spike app, we're going to click on Spike Essential and we'll go down to Unit Plans. From Unit Plans, We've already done great adventures. We've finished Amazing Amusement Park. We're going to jump down here to Crazy Carnival Games. And we're doing Lesson 1 today, Mini Mini Golf. This is Sophie. And Sophie wants to test her mini golf skills. Sophie has been practicing. She thinks she can get a hole in one. You're going to build this mini golf game like Sophie's, and then you're going to try to get a hole in one. So, here are your building directions. This is one that you should be able to build on your own. I have my build here. There wasn't really anything I noticed that was challenging with this build, plus we're going to be making lots of changes to it later on. One thing that I recommend doing is while you're making this build, go ahead and build two golf clubs. One you can hold with your hand and one that you're going to attach to the motor. So at this time, you should pause my video and go ahead and build your mini mini golf course. And then we'll join back together at the very end. So, now that you've built the mini mini golf course, here's your challenge. We're going to create a program to get a hole in one. And this week is different because we are going to be using word blocks to code. So, first step we need to connect our hub. I know my hub is not on because that light is turned off. So I'm going to press the yellow circle that shows a small picture of a hub in the top corner. And when it's open, I'm going to click on step two, open. I'll push the button on my hub one time, which will make the light flash, and then I'll see my hub appear in this pop-up window. Mine is named Essential One. I'll click the blue pair button. My light turns solid blue, letting me know that it is connected to my computer, and we're ready to code. Now, we'll give you the code for this very first part of the lesson, we just want to try to hit a ball. So, when program starts, 
I want to set motor A speed to 20%, and then I want to run the motor for one rotation. Now, we're ready to test this out, and we could test it out without a golf ball in the way, or we could go ahead and put a golf ball down there, but I recommend going ahead and pressing play and see if your golf club moves. So I saw that it spun all the way around, and something about word block coding is you have to tell it which motor to move. And so we're using one motor, which means we should be using blue motor blocks. I can see that I set the speed to 20%, and then we told the motor to run to the right for one rotation. This could be right, or this could be clockwise. Up here at the top, I can see that my motor A is currently at 342 degrees. This is a fun time to try to just move that and see how it changes. Now it's at 274 degrees, and I see that my light on B is not turned on. Go ahead and put a ball on your tee, pull back your golf club, and let's push play again and see how we do. Not quite far enough to get a hole in one. How could you change this program to get the ball all the way to our hole down on this end? What are you going to change in the program to make that ball travel farther? If you said change the speed, absolutely. Let's change the speed. Let's put the, tee, the ball back on the tee. Let's click on 20% and let's change it to 50%. Now, after you change a speed, you should also click off of it so that it stores it. We'll push play, so it move a little bit faster, and my landed right in the score area. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do now. You increased the energy of the golf club by changing the speed. You made the ball travel or go in motion even further. We tested our program, and then we changed it. I'd like you to take a minute and upgrade your program now. Maybe you want to have the light turn on. Maybe you want to change the speed. Maybe you want a sound to play. But go ahead and modify your program to change how this golf game plays. This is a great time to just pause the video for a moment while you come up with a new program and then push play after you've changed the program. I want my program to play a sound before it ever starts or swings. I also like having a light on top where we're going to put a warning to let people know that the, balls, the club is about to swing get out of the way. So, I can say play sound, and right now it's cat meow, but I want a new sound, so I'm going to add a new sound. And there are lots of options. Whichever one you click on is what the sound will be. And so you have a ton of options. I'm going to see if there's one that says swing. I don't know if there is. Instead of a swing, I just want it to whistle. All right, I'm happy with that whistle. So I click the X button in the top, and now I can change my sound. So I want it to start with a whistle. I'm gonna have my light turn red for two seconds. Then it's gonna swing and after the swing happens, I want people to know it's safe, so I'm gonna tell it to turn all green at the end. All right, let's push play on this program, and we should hear a whistle. Then the light should turn red, letting people know to stand out of the way, and then it should swing. Here we go. Excellent. I'm happy with this program. What changes did you make to your program? How did you change your code to make this golf club or golf game a little better? Did you add a warning? Did you use the light? Did you change the speed? 
What did you change on it to make it better? Now that you've upgraded your program or changed it, it's time for us to upgrade this mini golf course. So, we're gonna design a couple of holes for our mini golf course. This was hole one, an easy start. It's just one swing. I think hole two, we should add a ramp to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my golf hole off. I'm gonna scoot it back so that there's now a gap and I'm going to add a ramp. And I want my golf club to swing hard enough that the ball is able to go over the ramp, make it through that hazard, and still get a hole in one. All right, I'm ready to test this out. I'm going to get rid of my long program, and instead I'm just going to set the speed to 75%. Let's try 30 to start. I'm going to tell it to run. And let's see if it works, if this is enough energy to get over the ramp. Not quite. How can I change my program to get over the ramp? I'll change my speed to 100%. This is going to add a lot more energy to my ball. Hole in one, excellent. How are you going to change your golf course hole? How are you gonna upgrade this mini golf course? You might decide to do a ramp. You may decide to get a whole nother piece, a base plate out and make a second hole. But take some time now and make some new golf holes for your golf machine to work with. Maybe you wanna add some tunnels for the ball to go through or add some extra obstacles to get around. There are lots of ways you can make changes to this course. Put a little tunnel on there. Works again, that's a huge hit. Let's talk about some other options now. You have lots of code blocks available to you. Now, when we started this program today, I told you just to pull your golf club back so it's out of the way, so that it can hit. Now, we could code it to go to certain positions. Maybe you want to code your motor to wind up before hitting. So what we could do is we could add a couple of these blocks that say motor A, go shortest path to position zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my golf club way back here. Actually, I'll go halfway first. So I see that I'm at 307 degrees motor A. So I want it to go 307, and then I want it to go back down here, but not hit it. So 344, and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate these by double clicking or right clicking. Now, I want it to come all the way back, way up high, like it's gonna be a big swing, and that's gonna be 210. And then I want it to swing through the ball. So I'm gonna tell it to go to position 20. So let's try this out. Let's see if it goes the way we want it to go. Excellent. So now I see that my swing looks like it's winding up for a big swing, but it doesn't hit it very hard. So instead of going to position 20 at the end, that's where I'm going to set my speed to 100% and have it hit the ball really hard. So let's push play. Excellent. We did miss the hole, but it was a much bigger hit. So. So far today, you have built the mini golf course. We talked about energy and motion with golf balls, with soccer balls, with balls rolling down hills. You've used word blocks to code your mini golf course to write a program to get a hole in one. 
We've upgraded our golf course by changing the hole, by adding obstacles to it. One last thing I want you to do is I want to show you how you could get back to icon blocks for this same program. With word blocks, we have a lot of control over what we do. And since we're using just one motor, we've been using these blue motor blocks. But if you built this and you couldn't figure out how to code it, you can click on Home, click on New Project, and then you can select Word Blocks or Icon Blocks. If you select Icon Blocks, you'll go back to that familiar screen of just Icon Blocks where you could set the speed, but you only have four options for speed. Slow, normal, faster, fastest. And then you can also tell the motor to turn. And you can tell the motor to turn one time, zero times, two times. You might be able to go in there and type in half a turn. But this is how you would get back to word blocks if there was something you wanted to do but couldn't figure out how to do it. Or this is how you get to icon blocks if you need to go back to icon blocks because you can't figure out how to do something with your word blocks. Or if you have a little sibling that wants to do this program as well, you can get back, get them back to icon blocks as well. I hope you had a good time today. This is one of my favorite builds to make. I like that you can build a second golf club as well, and you can compete against your robot by programming the robot to hit the ball, and then you could get in there and try to hit the ball as well and see how you do. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time for LEGO Robotics.